fifth verse says, when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the one sick of palsy, Son, God, Son, please understand, my brothers and my sisters, Jesus had not met the man. Jesus was not like him at Lazarus. His relationship was not with him and daddy, but he had the kind of compassion that he called him his son. Uh -huh. It's something about a daddy and his son. I need you to get this mama and her baby. There might be some other sisters in there, but when you got your daughter, your granddaughter, Relationship. Yeah. Anybody remember about when you had a great grand or that grand, a little bitty one mm. with the cute eyes? Mm. I got me a couple of them. Mm. All they got to say is granddaddy. Mm. I don't care what I got, they can get anything I want. Right. Right. They, they get whatever. Why? Because that relation, that's my baby, that's mine. Jesus says to the sick of palsy, son, yeah. in ministry, you have to love folks so much so that the ones that have never ever been your son become your son. Yeah. Your daughter. Yeah. They, 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 you love them enough to see that this ministry is designed to reach your needs. This is what makes us doers of the word more than just hearers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Because we're demonstrating by the way we treat folk. I'm going home now. Treat folk. Mamas, y'all got to love these some of these crazy women. Y'all got to love them enough to tell them the truth. They ain't treating their other right. You got to tell them, baby. Right. I know you want to do what you want, but you can't do this because, see, because mama needs to take it. Come here, baby. Sit down and talk to you for a few minutes. Right. Now, watch this. Y'all know the minute y'all talk to some of these, they'll toot their nose up at you. <laughs> Might even say something wrong. Because yeah. they don't want you to say nothing to them. Yeah. You got to be powerful. You got to love them enough. Cause in fact, I'll tell you what. I'll show you what you love. Love the children. Love the ones that got run around you, you know, gonna be in a mess. Don't get caught up in some beautiful say that. Say something to them. You gotta love them enough to say something to them. Brother, you gotta love them enough to be able to chase them, to distance them. You gotta love them enough to show them. When it's time to serve, you gotta love them enough to start from beginning to end and not quit until it's done. All right, all right. Come in. He says, son, your sins be forgiven me. He was moved by the faith of the ones that brought him. Because the man never said anything. Come on, preacher. He didn't ask nothing. His son of mm -hmm. Jesus said, your sins be forgiven you. Yeah. He starts by healing his sin sick soul. Mm -hmm. But in healing his sin sick soul, he heals his body. Yes, so sometimes in doing ministry, you have to look and what has that person tied down? Yeah. Reach up, reach up. And speak to that thing yeah. that's raffling them down. I tell folk all the time, you have to look at what caused a person to stumble before you can fuss at them about being on the ground. All right. 
Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Because sometimes when you see what caused them to stumble, you remember when you was down on the ground. When he speaks to the sin sick soul, he not only speaks to the sin sick soul, but he heals his body. How do you know, Reverend? Because, because following that, he deals with the man. And I, I would take time, Reverend, but my time is out to deal with the folk that raise us about it. I, 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 I'm just going to hit a brief second. Just, just know that while you're doing ministry, everybody ain't going to be happy. I need y'all to understand why you are trying to do what God called you to do. Everybody ain't going to be happy. You're going to always have a few in the corner pointing fingers talking about what you've been doing and why you ought not be doing it. Maybe you can't pay them no attention. Some of y'all need to get, get some thick skin and get some spiritual strength and not be pushed over like by that mess that folks talk about you. Just because they talk don't mean you need to quit. Yeah, they made some noise. But Jesus, because he is Jesus, yeah. knew that they were reasoning in their minds. And I love the way Jesus did it because he perceived it. He asked them what the problem was. He said to them, brother, do you think it's easier to say unto the sick, Be healed or thy sin be forgiven. But that you will know that God has the power to forgive sin. He said to the sick of palsy, I say unto thee, arise. Take up your bed. And go into your house. All right. My brothers and my sisters. Sometimes in ministry. You have to deal with the hellhounds. And the folk that create problems in your group. But I want you to know it's alright. You need to move, move forward. In what God called you to do. All right. Don't worry about what they say. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about if they don't show up. Right. Can I tell you something? Don't worry about if they call everybody in the church. You need to be focused on the ministry that God gave you. But I'm going to give you a little help. One thing I recognize when you are doing ministry and folk get in your way, if you would stay tunnel vision and do what God called you to do, the Holy Spirit would begin to do some things and make life a little easier. Oh yeah, how you do it, brother? My Lord, Jesus, when he was speaking the word, Hello, somebody said that he spoke a word powerful enough. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, to make the man jump up on his feet. Yeah. <laughs> My Lord, but I need you to understand why that is significant. Oh, yeah. The reason why Jesus was significant in causing the man to be healed and demonstrating his ability to forgive him for his sins. Yeah. Right. Because the man was able to deal with what I call evidentiary salvation. Oh, oh yeah, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah. My Lord, he did something that some of us don't get a chance to see. Yeah. Oh yeah, many times in ministry, you lay seed down in the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah, many times uh, in ministry, you're trying to help folk uh, who never seem to ever change. My Lord, many times uh, in ministry, you're
to try to reach out and make somebody or move somebody to another place. But God showed me in the midst of this ministry something major happened in a man's life. My Lord, if you remember, four men brought him in. God Almighty and he could not walk. The Bible said that they brought him in on a mat. My Lord, one on the front in the left side, one on the front in the right. One in the back on the left and one in the back on the right. When they got there, the man still laying on that mat. My Lord, when they recognized that they couldn't get him to Jesus, the Bible tell me that they climbed up the side of the wall. Somebody know what I'm going with this? Sometimes, when you're trying to help folk, it might take one, it might take two, it might take three, or it might take four times. But you got to be willing to go on up the wall. Thank you. 